Hello guys, it's Sean Toms here and welcome back to another episode of our For Truck Sake series. We're currently parked up in Lancaster Services, it is Thursday morning and we're heading to Sunny Fife with an extender load. So without further ado, let's get the truck all packed away, we've still got all the curtains out, get diesel and fire on up to Fife. Manky shares after the show. Jesus, all dust. Anyways, quick bit of diesel. Then we'll fire up to five. But these are the slowest pumps in existence. Eh? <laughs> oh, right, boys, here we are. We're off roads just around the corner. We've just sat here for a wee 45 minute break. We'll say 49 minute break. Um, so we'll just quit the fire around. I'll put the GoPro on the back end. We'll try and get a wee bit of off loading footage. But so far, it doesn't look like we're doing anything after this because the load for tomorrow has just been cancelled. That's what we want to hear. Alright, that is the load tipped and uh, a bit of bad news, we've just been told there's nothing left for the rest of Thursday or Friday. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm booked on for the whole week. It's Thursday 2 o'clock. It's maybe a quick video. Anyways, need to drop the trailer off, back down Les Mahago, then home. Somebody's left a trailer in a really shit place. So there's a space there, right? Can he get that? And there's a space next to it. Can he get that? Because the bays are too small. So by the time I turn in and come straight, I'm hitting this other trailer. Fucking really confused. Like it looks like it'll go in there, but it just won't. But I'm not gonna lie to you. A proper, proper struggle with that reverse there. Proper struggled. Oh, right. Let's get a tip, but if I show you there, right, it's not much this side. And if you come all the way down through this gap of trailers, it's tight. Well, I think it's tight, but folk will probably disagree. Obviously, you've got that gap there, and then on this side here. I mean, it fucking looks massive now. <laughs> and that reverse back, it looks loads. But I swear to God, man, it was tight as anything, right? <laughs> God. Oh, that's not even on the... 
So that's no going out on the road. I right, might just pick that trailer up. <laughs> nope. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if they know about that. Cheesy beeps, man. That is scary how quiet this yard is right now. Normally this is full of loads to be done. And there's like nothing sitting. Plating lines, and we're good to go. Just cut the tidy the lines up. Jesus Christ, man, that to my ear every time. There we go. All right, that's hard detached. Let's get going. There we go. All dropped off. Let's head for home. We 40 minute drive. Get classical FM on it right now. By accident. Let's get going. Grab, just grabbing everything out of the lorry, and that is us done for today. And I believe now tomorrow we're on standby. It's not looking good. Um, so hopefully we we'll manage to find another bit of work for tomorrow. If not, we'll just have a yard day and fix and touch up things that need touched up. All right, it is now Tuesday and uh, Loader is very quiet this week. Kingspan have cancelled 11 loads for this week as well, so I am dead. Uh, I had a nice wee weekend off, not gonna lie. You know, I had Friday off on Monday and I thought, oh, it's a nice wee long weekend, you don't get them often. That'll do. It's now Tuesday. I am bold shitless in the house. I've played enough farming simulator in Call of Duty for a week. Uh, for the week. Um, so, uh, let's get some jobs done. Here is the job in question. There's my girlfriend's shed. Now it's a wee bit neglected. This side is nice and dry and perfect, um, but the rain is running off the back end here and you can see that it's just eating up the back end of the shed and obviously she stores quite a bit in here. Wants to store a treadmill in here as well. So we need to make it watertight. Um, and the reason for that is, you can see all the water dripping off the back and onto the back of the shed. So hopefully we can get some guttering as well and uh, and just sort it once and for all. But I've, I've said I've been doing this for weeks for her, but with truck shows and what are we working and stuff, I've just not got around to it. I've got a spare day today, so let's get it done. Do something that's gonna get annoying. But anyways, we're loaded. We'll give it a wee choke and we pull down. I think it will do. I think it will last. We do have a 40 minute drive to Girvan, 140 quid. I was gonna go to a sawmill and I honestly wish I'd went to a sawmill now because it would have just been a fuckload cheaper. But we've done it now, it's too late. Uh, let's head home and just be wary that we've got a bit of a tail swing now. Uh, but I'll stop, give it a wee check, make sure everything's all right and uh, Pretty sure that's us just on our very merry way, unless we get pulled. Which I don't think we should, because I think I've done a very good job of strapping it, but I could be wrong. There you go, not a thing moved. Thank you. Now here we are. I mean, you can just see what I'm working with here. That really doesn't take any doing at all. Now, I did want to redo the entire floor, but this shed is probably getting replaced in a year or so anyways. You know what women are like. That's a so sexist, but it wasn't meant to. But anyways, aye, you know what I mean. Uh, it'll be getting changed at some point. So this is all wet. So I think I'm, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to keep this there because it's solid up until there. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep this bit, which I'm not too happy about, because I'd rather just done the entire bit here. But if you do that, then you're two, three, four, five hundred quid, and that's just, it's just silly. So we're gonna take this away. We're gonna put new beams down at the bottom, which will sit on top of this. Uh, we'll put a wee bit of uh, waterproofing in between, a couple of sheets, and we'll just make her a hell of a lot stuffier than what she is now. We'll take these beams out as well, put new ones in. It's worse than I originally thought. This whole floorboard, it's just gone.
job than we had originally thought but aren't they all I feel like the way I did it was the least lazy way and also the smallest amount of using chains back to good wood solid wood even though it was kind of solid there it just felt better just to cut it right to the beam I think I've taken on more than I can chew but I said I'd do it if I say I'm gonna do something nine times out of ten I try <laughs> oh, I feel like progress has been made on this main bit, we're just getting them treated now, now we'll lay them, screw it all in, and fix this bit of rotten section. I mean, it's good ventilation at least. That's all the kind of stuff. See what I mean by that? It's good wood up until, I mean that's actually quite a good board. I'll take one of these for example, you know what I mean? It's kind of rotten underneath, it's still good. You might as well just take it all the way back and just make a nice flush strip rather than, you know, that's what it is. It's done now. And then we'll do these beams later, but I want to get this structure down and get this built up so that the shed's actually sitting on something, because right now this corner's not really sitting on anything before I start taking away more support. Hi, good. All right, used a bit of reclaimed fence board. We've obviously, oh, we've got some new bits here. We ran short, but some reclaimed fence boards managed to cover that in. I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, come on, I'm a lorry driver, not a goddamn shed builder. Uh, but then, of course, we've left this wee lip here because we've got some uh, waterproof material I want to hang over there. And then, of course, we'll get the rest of the wood to come back up to here. Sit nice with that, and then we'll do the, stra the straps. And it's looking goddamn gorgeous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy with how this has come out. Very, very happy, so far. <sighs> through it. <sighs> all right next we're putting the braces in and we're leaving the old ones here because obviously they're all attached to the wall and we'll just attach it at the bottom where we put the new bits in but i feel like if i take this all out it's just asking for more work and it is just a temporary repair on this side i feel like it's going all wrong all right and i mean about progress now just putting the bracing in i'm trying not to make it all about this because it's a bit boring but we're just putting the bracing in i've braced the middle bit now Shed's no longer moving, just gonna brace this bit here against there. Do that bit. Put the slat in here, obviously we kicked that one out. Right, here we go. All done. Shed isn't moving as much now, but it's all showed in basically just the basically bit it was rotten. Cut it right back to where it stopped rotting in this wee corner here. And then obviously it didn't rot up there. It's just really this corner that was rotten away. Don't get me wrong, the rest of the shed, I mean it's not perfect, but it'll still do for the next couple of years or year. Maybe, well, at least we know that bit's a wee bit better. Now we'll just put the bits on the outside, uh, just to cover the wee hole in. Kick that one out, because it's all soggy and gone. Put the new bits on, and we should be done. Should. Should. Bang. All right, that's that done. On to the gutter and outside. Oh. Okay. To stop the rain. Oh, right, that's that bit there done. And then we've done all the back end of this. Put the garden up. Look at that, lovely. Then all down here, we'll paint this once it dries up again today. And then back in here, I've had to put the vibes in, it started raining, which wasn't the ideal. So we'll get the rest done another day. There you go. Treated it all. That's it all sturdy. It just needs a wee bit of water treat again. These could do with replacing, but it's just too much money and we only need the shed for another year or two. So I is what it is. Bear in mind I'm not a joiner or anything, so I know these might be rough, but I think I did a right job. 
Anyways, anyways, work tomorrow. All right, so here we are in the lorry, all loaded up and ready to get back to work. But that'll be in the next video, which will come out um, either Saturday or Wednesday. I can't quite remember. 7.30 UK time. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.